Hey guys, welcome to Central Kids Online. I'm Zach and I'm so glad that you're here. We've got an awesome service plan for you guys today. We're gonna worship the Lord. So wherever you are in your living room, get up off the couch and let's do that. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Be
I'm so glad that you're tuning in for Kids Church today. We're gonna to be talking about talents. Did you know that God gives us unique gifts, things like sports, music, speaking, juggling, and so much more? What are some of your hidden talents? There are so many different and unique talents that God gives us. What a creative God that we have. That brings us to the big idea of the day. God made each and every one of you to have unique gifts, abilities, interests, and talents. And God wants you to do amazing things with them because God made you to do great things. Can I get a big drum roll for the big idea of the day? God made me to do great things. Let's read our Bible story for this week. Turn to Matthew 25 in your Bible. And we're going to be reading uh, verses 14 through 30. Again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. He then left on his trip. The servant who had received five bags of silver began to invest the money and earn five more. The servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. But the servant who received the one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they used his money. The servant to whom he entrusted the five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest, and I have earned five more. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. The servant who had received two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest, and I earned two more. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. And then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth. Look, here is your money back. But the servant master replied, you wicked and lazy servant, if you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money into the bank? At least it would have gotten some interest. Then he ordered, take the money from this servant and give it to the one with the 10 bags of silver. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Now throw this useless servant into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow, let's go over this story again. So two of the workers took their money they were taken care of and they went and earned more money with it. They made the boss super happy, but the third worker was afraid he might lose some of the boss's money, so he took it and buried it to keep it safe. Was the boss happy with that worker? No, the boss was seriously angry. He trusted the worker with something great and the servant didn't do anything worthwhile with it. What does that mean for us? God hasn't given us big bags of cash, but God has given us all kinds of abilities, interests, gifts, and unique characteristics that make us who we are. Maybe God made you to do something really interesting. Maybe God made you to be a good listener. Maybe God made you to be really strong or really fast. Maybe God made you to be interested in art or sports or gaming. God doesn't want you to hide any of these things. God wants to use those talents for you to do great things. That's how God made you. There is a verse in Ephesians that is basically this week's big idea. It's in chapter two and it's verse nine, verses nine and 10. Let's read that together. Salvation is not a reward for the things that we have done, so none of us can boast about it. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do good things he has planned for us long ago. The first part, we are God's handiwork, means God made us. We are no accident. 
Have you ever not liked something about yourself? It's normal to feel that way, but I hope this cheers you up. God made each and every one of us exactly how he made us and God is super happy of how he turned out. The to do great things part of our big idea also shows up in Ephesians 2.10. To do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God wants us to do great things and that is why God made us who we are. Hey kids, close your eyes for a minute and think about something great you want to do in their lives right now or in the future. Now I want you to think about the great thing and how it can be used for God. Not only does God want us to do great things, God wants us to do some specific great things to help other people to get to know God. Doing great things doesn't have to mean doing something big or heroic. It could mean choosing to be kind to someone at school who most people are mean to. Or maybe God made you to be great at soccer because God wants you to be an amazing teammate who is a great example for all the other kids on the team. And maybe someday someone will ask you why you are such a great teammate and you can tell them you're just trying to love your teammates the way that God loves them. We are going to finish up with our memory verse for March. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Jeremiah 33, three. Don't forget to be practicing this and be sure parents to keep an eye on our Central Kids Facebook page for updates and interactive challenges this week. Let's pray. Dear God, I pray that this week you help us to find our spiritual gift that you gave us when you created us and we use that gift to do great things to serve you and serve others and show others your love. Jesus, we love you and we praise you and we pray all these things in your name. Amen. Kids, I'm so glad that you joined us this week for Central Kids Online and we'll see you next week.